What up, y'all? So today I want to talk about boozy begging for diabetes medication. Now, of course, y'all know that boozy is a diabetic, right? And that's the reason why some persons actually fear that he would lose his legs. Now, after he was shot in the limb last month, diabetics have trouble with wounds. Boozy dodged that bullet, so to speak. However, his diabetes just flared up when he was visiting Atlanta and he got caught without enough meds. So he's appealing to his Instagram followers for help. Y'all can see it on the screen. It says Lantus. I guess that's a needle or something. So maybe Boozy has to take insulin or something. So he said, I need if you in ATL, DM, and he said cash on deck. So if you're in the A, I'm hoping that you can reach out to Boozy. You know, he said he got some cash on deck. So y'all gotta hook my boy up, man. So let me know what y'all think about this, man. I mean, diabetic, being diabetic, it's not, you know, something to joke around with. You know, especially if you have like, I think, is it type 2 diabetes? I'm not sure, but I know one is actually worse than the other. And I don't know which one Boozy has, but obviously he's taking insulin and stuff. So let's just hope that someone actually reaches out to him. But I'm wondering, why didn't Boozy just go to the pharmacy and just get the meds that he needed? Why did he actually come on Instagram to make that post? But either way, man, salute to Boozy. You're definitely a real one. And I'm happy that you didn't actually lose your leg. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is Gucci Mane's artist, Fujiano. He burned off his ankle bracelet and is at large. Now, Gucci Mane artist, Fujiano, is doing the race after burning off his ankle bracelet. Fujiano is on probation for a 2015 burglary incident. At a hearing last week, the judge ordered he post a 50k bond and wear a monitor after hearing from three witnesses. However, Fujiano didn't charge the bracelet, so it quickly went dead and the authorities briefly lost track of him. When he did charge it, his probation officer was sent a signal that he was tampering with the device. When they tried to track him down, they found the bracelet on the side of the highway with signs that he had burned the strap to remove it from his body and no signs of Fujiano. Fujiano's bond had been revoked and there is now a warrant out for his arrest. Earlier this year, two were shot after a man attempted to snatch Fujiano's chain during a South Carolina show. It's unclear if that was related to his probation issues. So, you know, he's doing the race. Y'all remember when TK did the race? So, Fujiano is actually doing the race. Will the Popo actually catch him? We'll just have to wait and see. Do y'all think that Gucci Mane is going to actually make a post about this? But then again, I actually doubt it. Because y'all know Gucci Man, he's not going to actually talk about this. This is actually some serious stuff. If they actually catch this guy, he's going straight to jail or prison or wherever. But let me know what y'all think about Fujiana, man. This guy actually burned off his anchor bracelet. Wow. I mean, I guess he just don't want to be found. <laughs> But I also want to talk about Dirk, guys. So Dirk was on Instagram Live, and a lot of fans were calling him out, telling him that he should, you know, go do some stuff for King Vaughn, you know, go and get the ops, if you know what I mean. Now, Dirk actually responded to fans saying stuff like that, and he's saying that he's not going to make certain posts on Instagram. He's not that type of person. You know, obviously rappers would, you know, post certain things and say, you know, we're coming for the ops and this and that. Which some of the time they do, some of the time they don't. But Dirk, you know, he's saying that the Popo is actually watching everything. And he's not out here to make their job easier. Plus, a lot of these persons are going to go call them themselves. So, you know, I definitely agree with Dirk. I'm going to leave y'all with this whole Instagram live. Let me know if y'all agree with him or not. But before I do that, don't forget to like this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed. Make sure you turn that notification bell on. That way you can get notified whenever I post a new video. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. And in the phone, though. Damn. Yeah, I don't fuck it either. I told him this shit about be real, it's this shame. It's about Vaughn, man. This ain't about no sales, no none of that shit. I'll let everybody do that. We see everything and watch everything, though. Like, the love been crazy. Definitely. No, it's something you talk about. <laughs> it's about to come to you.
Yeah, the support, man. Shout out to y'all. Y'all been rocking out, man. Making sure the motherfucker straight, good spirits and shit like that. So, make sure motherfuckers in good spirits. Do it for Vaughn on everything. Somebody been leaking on shit too, so they forced my hand and dropped the shit tonight. Man, I know, I know a lot of niggas watching me right now too. You told? Yeah. You lied, man. What you want, bro? Oh, she turned me 